Florida Man is the new Netflix series starring Edgar Ramirez. So see if this new series is worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services like Netflix. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. A disgraced cop is forced to return to his home state of Florida for a shady mission only to get swept up in a treasure hunt. So we've seen a lot of different articles and memes about Florida and some crazy stories of people doing just very bizarre things. And I, I expected, I guess, a little more from this series since it is titled Florida Man. I expected something just absolutely bonkers and bizarre and just living up to those memes and articles that we constantly see. But I do think that this is a really good show, despite kind of my expectations being a little bit too high, uh, I still enjoyed this series. They do enough to make Edgar Ramirez's character, Mike Valentine, very unique. He is an ex-gambler. He used to be a cop. He lives in Philadelphia. He goes down to Florida to try to find uh, this woman, played by Abby Lee, the boyfriend. He's part of the mob in Philadelphia, and uh, if he doesn't find uh, Abby Lee's character, he probably will kill him. So. He has this shady mission going on as he gets down to Florida, he gets swept up and looking for treasure. And so uh, I like how Edgar Ramirez's character was written. Uh, they give him enough quirks to make him feel like a very unique character. He hates spelling errors. He has this conflict with his father. There's enough writing in here to make this feel like a character that has a lot of depth to him. There's a certain episode, I believe it was episode five, where he's in a meeting with his father and they're discussing, he's discussing his mother and it's a really heartbreaking scene. I cried during that scene, but moments like that, you look at um, a story that's only seven episodes and you could think that uh, maybe there's a lot of characters and there wouldn't be enough writing to really flesh out some of these characters. But I was really impressed with not only Mike Valentine, I was also impressed with Abby Lee's character, Deli West, and also Moss as well. There's a lot of development and characteristics given to these characters in here that uh, you start to kind of understand who they are. We look at Moss, who is dealing with being in the shadows of his father. He's very insecure at times. He's not as confident as people may think he is, but I like how this character, very intimidating at times and very controlling, but there's a lot to kind of peel back this character and look at him differently as we see those insecurities and seeing how he's reacting to certain things. It's a fully fleshed out character. Then you have Deli West who's running away from Moss and she wants to kind of start her own life as we see that she is trying to put up this front. She's trying to protect herself, but also she's afraid of what's going on. So a lot of these characters are main characters and they have a lot of development in here amongst a pretty fun treasure hunting show it starts off as this crime series and mike's looking for deli but then we kind of dive into uh this treasure hunting aspect to it and both are really good the crime part to it moss being intimidating that was really gripping stuff and then we get to the treasure hunting aspect to it and that's all kind of thrilling and fun and seeing how they can navigate uh, the media and everybody hot on Mike Valentine's tail and just trying to find that treasure but also connecting father and son as well there's a lot going on and uh, different tones kind of being thrown around in here but all of it is really good now there are a lot of minor storylines going on at times it feels like they don't amount to much and at times they feel like they come way too late in the series for example, Clark Gregg is in here. He wants to take his family to Disney World. He gets caught up in a crime and uh, we see his storyline slightly developing throughout the series. And at times I questioned what was the point of this character. We got a better understanding of it at the end, but some of these storylines, you feel like they're not amounting to much or they're just kind of there. And they don't really take away from the development of Mike and Deli and Moss as well but you see them and you're just wondering what was some of the point to it it uh, feels like it's derailing certain storylines in here uh, involving an ambulance as well but certain storylines you feel like you just 
certain storylines you feel like they're just there and they really don't contribute much to the series but florida man i really did like it i like the acting in here there's some really good dramatic scenes especially episode five when you look at some of the deeper uh relationships involved in here but i love the characters and how they were written in the show they feel hum they feel human they don't feel fake at all uh, they have these insecurities. They're afraid of things. Some characters are developing relationships and they're lying about things. These characters, the way that they are written, they felt very realistic. And I appreciate it about that show. At times it gets thrilling and suspenseful. But I think the best part about it is those characters. Seeing them grow and change throughout the series, I felt really connected to them. I was hooked from the show really early on and what kept me going were those characters. So before I give you my score for Florida Man, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer actions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun and movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button to get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Florida Man a B. Thank you guys for checking out my review of Florida Man. Have you guys seen it on Netflix? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Justin Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.